Hi everybody and in this video I wanted to share with you our backyard transformation and this is our backyard patio last year when we still were using it for cleaning terracotta tiles and all the messy jobs while renovating inside of the house and finally this year we completely transformed the patio and it is looking absolutely wonderful. What used to be an old, broken, mossy concrete halfway through the backyard is now beautifully paved terrace with a local flagstone and beautiful matching pebble stone border around the fountain. The idea of a fountain was very new to us, so we had to live with the simulation of a future fountain for a few days to make a decision. And when the decision was made, then the digging started. We had to dig out the topsoil from the grassy part of the terrace to be able to pull fresh layer of concrete and unify all the three levels that we had through the backyard. That means digging lots and lots of soil, moving many, many buckets of soil into the other parts of the garden where we could reuse it. And then all the fun part of our project began, filling the new part of the patio with the rubble that was coming from our bathroom renovation project. And tiny village Oro with views so divine. We're fixing up a villa, it's taking all our time. Bought an old Italian dream, thought it'd be a breeze. Now we're knee deep in rubble and sharing. And then it is finding the center of future terrace. It looks like a donkey <laughs> that is walking around there <laughs> in the mill. And of course, one of our very favorite things is cutting through the old concrete new channels for the new water and electric pipes. How fun! Neighbors chuckled softly, they've seen this before. Another young couple wanted a perfect lake shore. The happiest day in every project is pouring concrete day because that means from now on things will get better and better. Sherry chases badgers while we chase our dreams, battling ancient wiring and medieval beams. It looks like the chaos, but it's our dream, and we're in it. It feels incredibly good. I love it. The budget is tight. We're our romantic getaway. We're just working day and night. All is dirty and sherry by our side. Restoring beautiful villas. Um, cement mixing bucket is imitating right now our future pond with golden fish and water lilies. You just have to imagine it there. And it's looking so good. I love it so much. While Sergio was working on the illumination system, I started dry fitting the paving stones. So then I could just start gluing them into newly pulled beautiful concrete. It was so much slower than I expected and in one day I could make about two or three square meters of floor and that meant every day for next month I had to spend there on the patio on my knees just laying down the paving stones. And at some point I got really bored and I decided this is the time to start building the future fountain. So for now, 
Step number one is the base. Second bag of cement and now I have to make it uh, round and in level. Step number two was wrapping my future fountain with a chicken wire and filling the gap in between the chicken wire and the plastic bucket with a building form. And then covering it all with the tile glue. Every single day I was tiny little step forward with the project and very very soon the result was big enough so we can see it from up from the street and it felt so so incredibly good. And here is my today's progress and I did exactly what I wanted and just Seeing face patch now left gives gives me so much energy uh, to wake up tomorrow earlier and start earlier tomorrow's project and hopefully hopefully I really want to finish this patch tomorrow that will be just amazing. Sherry, what do you think? It's beautiful, isn't it? It's absolutely wonderful. Yes, it is. <laughs> And as I learned from previous projects, working with concrete, cement or tile glue is not the funniest thing. It is quite boring and grey and a bit depressive, so I make sure I wear the best dresses so they bring some colour into my grey routine project. And then very soon there was only bucket left to be covered in beautiful flagstones. Next step was to choose the right pattern for the pebble stone border. After trying few designs, I decided to go with a very, very simple pattern, darker pebble stones on the inside and outside of the border and very pale pebble stones as a line in the middle.
and cheers everybody for our new fountain and for finished piazzetta. Now, you know what that means. I have to go and buy the rest of the plants and, and soil as well and just complete this project with the, with the new planting here. Shari, are you excited? What? Isn't that beautiful? And of course, playing with the plants is my favorite part of this project. <laughs> she is very concerned. Ah. Yes, I know. <laughs> okay. Enough with the snails. Cool things. I have to put them into the stream. Ah. Yes, I know. And I will be filling this with the soil and, and then finally I will be planting the agapanthus. Now, isn't that the most beautiful transformation on entire planet? <laughs> I'm so happy with the result and in the end we have three uh, evergreen variegated balls around the fountain and also white agapanthus and um, the jasmine and it's all with the variegated green and white theme. We have white jasmine, which will form beautiful, beautiful green, evergreen, thick border around the pond. And it also will smoothen a little bit the edges of the fountain. And agapanthus will uh, complement the round shape with the white balls when it's bigger and in full bloom as those beautiful agapanthus up there so i think in future it will all um, match the whole theme of our backyard and we also have underwater plants which are also have white flowers can you see that? And we also have our first four goldfish in there. They're hiding in the grass now. I don't know if you can see them. Here they are. So pretty. So very pretty. And this is our dream come true project and we would never been able to achieve it without support of our patrons and all of you watching commenting liking and subscribing on our channel and just look look at the result this is absolutely amazing and I really hope all of you enjoy watching the videos and the progress in our villa.